My peace receive and be ye glad, for I have overcome the world. The True Lovers of God First Bible Lesson, Luke fourteen twenty six. If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. Second Bible lesson, Matthew ten thirty seven, He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Golden text, Matthew twelve. 49 through 50. And he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren, for whoever shall do the will of my Father which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. Brethren, this is the word of God. Very frequently you say, The leader says this or that, but today it is God who says this. When the end of time will come, you will be advised by the Holy Spirit. This will remind you of God's word. When we refuse to believe it, we suffer death, afflictions, poverty, etc. Many of us wonder how it is possible for one to hate his father, mother, son, or daughter, etc. Who can ask God this sort of question? God has his reasons in giving this word to you. I'm going to give you the reason one by one. Why God says you should hate your father, mother, etc. before you can be his disciple. Can a blind man lead a blind man? Did Adam and Eve heed God's advice? It is because of these people that we are suffering today. If parents are pagans, how can they teach you the way of God? Can a blind man lead another blind man? Who killed Abel? Was it not his very brother from the same womb? About 99% of the troubles, persecutions, death, etc., that we suffer in the world today are caused by our own relations from the same parents. The effect of bad teachings from our parents. Is it not your very brother who wishes you evil? All your evil wishers are your relations. The punishment and afflictions you have today are caused by the bad teachings of your parents. If Cain killed Abel his brother, why then should God not advise you to hate your father, mother, brothers, and other relations? We should listen to God's advice in order to be his children. Who sold Joseph into bondage in Egypt? David's children suffered because of the sins of their father. If I continue to show you that all such evils are perpetuated by your parents and relations, you will be convinced that the word of God is true. Jacob got Esau's birthright by fraud. It is clear that Joseph was sold by his brethren and not by any stranger. Who hated Jacob? Was it not his brother Esau? He followed Jacob up to the place called Bethel so as to kill him. People often make mistakes, but God knows very well that he who shares the very womb with you is your evil wisher. Who got Esau's birthright by fraud? Was it not his brother Jacob? Was that a real mother to Esau? Having seen and heard how the father Isaac wanted to bless Esau for his sufferings and services during his blindness, she asked Jacob to defraud his brother of the blessings. Jacob became a false Esau. Jacob objected that he was not as hairy as his brother, but the mother advised him to cover his hands with the skin of the kids, thus making Jacob a false Esau. Have you not seen that she had rejected Esau? The father, Isaac, loved Esau more than Jacob. Was he not Jacob's father? Tell me any good thing in your wife child, father, or mother can do for you to be saved. In the case of Christ, did his brethren not doubt him? Remember when he was urged to go to a certain feast and perform miracles there? Knowing what they wished him, Jesus told them that his time had not yet come. John 7, 3 through 6. All that was planned by his brothers. Do such evil plans by your brother not affect you even now? In your family, you are not even valued. Some of us talk of our towns, but bear in mind that Christ was killed by his townspeople. Is there any place like home where you are saved? Remember Job whose wife asked him to defy God? What of Samson? 
Was it not his beloved wife who betrayed him to death? Know then that only God and Christ love you. The word of God never fails. Most often we meet death while we are in pursuit of things of this life. Most of our troubles and deaths come from such pursuit. When I mention these things to you, you cannot help leaving them. Even most of our parents, children, wives, etc. cause our death and troubles in life. Why then should we still cling unto them? The word of God has never returned empty-handed. Jesus Christ, when on earth, rejected his father and mother for the service of God. We should cut our relationship with the worldly people. A woman is only a path, passage to the world. And therefore, you should not get worried saying she is your mother. The same thing happens to a man, for he is a caretaker or cleaner of the path. Not all mothers who bore you are your mothers, but one whose life agrees with yours. The same thing is applicable to fathers because your father must be one who loves God. The town that loves and accepts God is your town if you love God. Adam and Eve disobeyed God. God asked Adam and Eve not to eat of the tree of good and evil, but they disobeyed, thereby bringing into the world the issues of both good and evil. There is no court to judge them, but the flesh and the Holy Spirit always remain at war. If you are the only man of God in your town or family, all other members being worldly will oppose you. The world today is divided into two classes, namely good and bad. That is why we value this gospel while others despise it because God knows that our death and sufferings come from wicked parents, etc. First Bible lesson, Luke 14, 26. If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yeah, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. The poison that kills. That is the poison that kills us and not God as people believe. You may say, why should I go to church if I should not pray to God for children, wife, etc., etc.? These are parables. If your child, wife, father, and mother are all devils, what can you do? Do you say that God asks you to smoke or drink to kill yourself? If you want to follow your father or mother, you must be ready to face the result. We love worldly things more than God. Where do we go from there? We are in the flesh and not in spirit. Therefore, this makes us children of the flesh and not of God. If you don't practice this gospel, there is no way out. No other word is greater than this. Many think that Mary and Joseph had Jesus Christ alone as their child. It was not so. Matthew 13, 54 through 56. But since Christ knew that the others did not know God, he departed from them. I work for my father. Remember when he was 12 years old? He went into the temple after the feast of Passover. The parents did not see him. But when at last they found him in the temple, they told him that they had looked for him everywhere. He then answered them, How can you look for me? Do you not know that I have to be in my father's house? It is impossible, brethren, for one to have two fathers. God is the only father and Jesus the only brother. If you depart from this gospel, you have yourself to blame. After the sermon, if you come to me, I shall show you how you go astray through your parents. Refrain from any earthly thing and adhere to the gospel. If your father is a drunkard, a snuffer, etc., etc., he will surely not show you the ways of God. They are stumbling blocks on our ways. Abraham at the age of 75 was asked by God to leave his hometown. There had never been a Christian who had ever had a hometown except the kingdom of God. They had no lovers except God and Jesus Christ. The lovers of the earthly things are the lovers of worldly people. Second Bible lesson, Matthew 10, 37. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. You cannot love two things equally. Is there anyone who doesn't love his father, mother, and his children more than God? Because of them, you go to native doctors, approach sorcerers, and go against the will of God. Tell me then how a lover of parents can love God fully. 
Christ asked Peter if he loves him, Christ, more than others. Nobody can love two things equally. What then is the love of God? It is found in one who is godly and loves everybody as he loves himself. All those who are godly are your brethren. That is why you should say, peace be to you whenever you meet people. Because whenever a child of God abides, peace must abound there. A child of God has no dealings with the worldly people. God has no dealing with a father or mother or children, but has dealings with those who love and obey him. Do not love your father, mother, or child because they relate to you, but love them because they love and practice the word of God. Anyone who departs from the word of God is not God's child. God created Lucifer, but since he disobeyed him, he was disowned. God has advised us to disown evil and accept good. Why then should you not leave all those who don't practice the word of God? We know very well that no one ever hates good things. Therefore, brethren, let us ask from today be directed by the spirit of God. Anyone baptized into our fold becomes a child of God. There is no class distinction. Anybody practicing the word of God is your brother and your sister, no matter where he or she comes from, whether he or she is black or white, for we are all one in God. Golden text, Matthew 12, 49 through 50. And he stretched forth his hand toward his disciples and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren, for whoever shall do the will of my father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother and sister and mother. Be a practical preacher. Do you then see where the word of God originates? Jesus Christ did not only preach, but also practice what God asked him to do. And that system must continue. Do not go to Christ because you are sick or you want to be rich, but do his father's will and be his brother. Jesus is no more the friend of sinners, but a friend of obedient children. They said to him, your father, mother, etc. are looking for you. He showed them his parents and brethren who were the hearers and doers of his teachings. Why then should we rob Peter to pay Paul? Why should we take the good things received from God to share with worldly relations? He who helps you in difficulties is your father, mother, and everything to you. Only God has helped us from our difficulties. Here in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, the word of God is not new. Do not say, I am the daughter or son of the leader. If you do not practice what the leader teaches you, how can you be his child if you are stubborn and disobedient unto him? There is no other way out. Those who obey God are my brothers. This is the time for you to do the will of God, whether you are old or young. Those for the kingdom of God must obey him. Leave aside jokes and practice the word of God. And don't claim to be the child of God unless you do his divine will. Those who have ears to hear, let them hear. May the Lord bless the preaching of his holy words. Amen. Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, delivered by leader and teacher Alumba Alumba Abu. Compiled by George Morales. Voiceover by Shantaria. My peace receive and be ye glad, for I have overcome the
I give. 